Hello there everyone and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons design video. Today I have the last of my entrance series which I've been doing recently and today we'll be doing a botanical inspired entrance. I absolutely love this one. This is the one I'm keeping on my island and it is deceptively simple to put together but looks so gorgeous and I'm going to be taking you through all the steps to build it including all the items, DIYs and custom codes that you'll need to put it together. So speaking of starting with the catalog items and DIYs that I use to put this together as well as the custom code. So the first thing we're going to do is lay our foundation using the default stone paving that you can get from resident services when you unlock three stars on your island and have KK visit. So we're first going to put down four squares and then we're going to move three squares up until we have a rectangle that's roughly four by three. Then we're going to go two either side starting on our right side and then we're going to go seven up. So the whole dimension of this design is about eight by nine squares. If you don't count the square that we've missed in front of resident services, but if you do, then it becomes 10. So now that we've done each side, we're then going to join them together and fill in the rest of this area with our default stone paving. So now that we've done that, we're going to be putting in some of our landscaping, which includes bushes and flowers. So we're going to start with our blue hydrangeas. Now I'm putting those diagonally from the stone paving that we've just put in. So now we're going to put the hedges and they're going to go behind the hydrangea bush. And since we're on fencing, we're going to be putting the iron and stone fencing just in the corners. So now that we've done that, we're going to put in the rest of our flowers, starting with blue hyacinths, which we've put on the edge of the design here. I'm going to put them in a similar position on the other side. So now that we've done that, we're going to be putting in our bushes and our trees. So again, we're going with the blue hydrangea bush, which was in season for me at the time, but you can use whichever flowers and bushes that you would like, whichever suits your island the best. And we've dug some holes either side of the hyacinths, just two across. And we're going to be putting in our bushes and trees with the bushes next to the hyacinths and then the harbour tree next to that. So now that we've done that, we're going to be putting our trees in the spot that's been left here, just in the corner. So now that we've done that, we're going to be putting in some hedges just out uh, on the outskirts here. So left and right, starting with our left. And then our right. And we're going to be putting in our round topiary and that's going to go in the corners here. So I went with the lighter version of the round topiary which I customized at Harv's Island 
and the reason being is because it just breaks up all the green that's currently in the design and makes it a bit different. So now we're going to finally use our custom code which we've got here and I just use the single one but you could also use the double one if you'd like there is an option for that and the custom codes and I'm just going to be doing them in this section here and again just up above there and finally here right next to the iron and stone fencing. So now that we've got our steps in, we're going to add the triangular topiary on top and this will hide some of the edges of um, the stairs there. And I went with the triangular one because we're going to mix up the heights of the items in this area and it helps bring a bit of dimension to it. So right at the front here we're going to put some garden lanterns and we're going to push them right up against that uh, area there in the green. Again I went with the bronze because it matches both the hydrangeas and the different types of greens that we've used in this area. So now that we've done that we're going to put the piece de resistance in the middle and that is our gazebo customized in both the white and the blues and this brings the entire design together and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited and I love this design so much. I had, When I designed it I had to keep it on my island. It was just beautiful and it's, it's helped me figure out the theme of my island which I'm flattening and redoing and that is going to be a botanic city feel. So yeah I thought this was a good mix of both of those. Let me know what you think in the comments if you absolutely like this design, if you plan to use it on your island and what else so you would love to see. Um, so a big thank you to my patrons who help support this channel. So Becca Crossing, Brittany, Becca Sydney and Panda Bee. Thank you so much. And yeah, here's some more videos if you want to go check them out. I would appreciate that. I love you. <laughs> so until then, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.